हाई गाइज वेलकम टू कोड आर्टिजन लैब दिस वीडियो नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जे एस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल वर्क ऑन द सेलर सेक्शन ऑन स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट मड्यूल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी दैट हाउ वी विल स्ट्रक्चर द ले आउट फॉर एड प्रोडक्ट एंड प्रोडक्ट लिस्ट राइट इन अर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द सेलर रजिस्टर लॉग इन एंड डैशबोर्ड ले आउट करंटली आई हैव ओपन द डैशबोर्ड ले आउट so let's create the product list and then add product page right so <clears throat> let's open the source components and here we have a seller and let's create the uh, we have a seller dashboard here we are okay so let's uh, copy this and paste here right and let's so seller products right so this is seller product so seller products okay so this is seller products here we are right so this is seller sidebar and we don't need this uh, let's remove the row okay and let's add this seller sidebar in app.js file okay so app.js we have sellers dashboard and we will import here seller products all right and then here we will add the seller products so seller products and let's say products and let's create the layout so layout will be in a table style so we'll say table responsive okay table bordered okay and then we have a tr in the tr we have th in the th we have a number and the second one is a uh, name or you can say the title product title and the third one is uh, let's say name it product the third one is and the fourth one is status okay status means published or not and then the fifth one is actions okay and uh, what we need else yeah this is fine now okay so let's create the body td okay td and this is one all right and then we have product title product title then we have a price then we have a status so status will be published okay okay so after making this uh, table let's see how it will look okay so we need to give a link here for the seller products oh we have already given okay so this is uh, our product but uh, it is not looking very nice so table table border table responsive it's not table responsive it should be something else let me check the another things uh let's check the where it is component customer uh orders table response yeah this is fine so this should work okay so product title price status published and actions okay we need to define actions All right so action will be so we can change the state uh user can change the status or edit or delete right so this will be a anchor let's define currently href later we will define link right so this will be edit right and this will be delete okay one more thing i will add here i will add here the view button right for the view uh seller can see the actual view 
for the website from this link right so this is view edit delete so this is our trtd okay everything is fine all right let let's add it here t head all right so t head and this will be t body okay this will be t body okay now we have a buttons so let's add a class class button button info right and let's add a class for edit let's add a edit button for a button primary right button primary and let's a class add for danger right so these are fine so this is margin let's add margin start one and then margin start margin start means it will take margin from left right so this is our uh, view edit and delete you can also add icons if you see then you can add icon also right so these are our product list okay so now let's add one more thing here so we have a table table responsive let's add one more thing let's add here button not button actually let's add here link and let's add add product okay and make it float end float end right so this should be all right so let's add in the h3 okay so why this is not taking the space let's add it in container in the sidebar we have this and this if i add this in a here okay okay we will change this later so float button button primary all right and then let's add margin bottom to yeah this is fine and then we have let's add icon for this so class fa fa plus circle right and then we will close this so this is fine now all right so if i say margin l auto oh margin start auto why this is not taking why it's not going in the right let's say float end oh wow so if i give this float to h3 no not working so we can do one more thing let's create a tr here and let's add a td and let's add a call span and the call span will be one two three four five so five call span and a normal call span five call span okay and add a button here okay let's add this button here and let's add one more thing align right okay so this is this is uh, okay fine yeah we will uh, if we need then we will do other things okay so this is our add product right mm, one more thing we can do we can give a link add product here also in the sidebar so that user doesn't need to go in the list and he can directly add the product okay so let's go for pro uh, seller sidebar and we will give here what we will give add product right so add product okay so add product all right so now let's give this link in the seller product here actually yeah right 
what we need to do we need to do this link this links no need for margin bottom and uh, this one here we are all right okay so link is not defined so we need to fetch the link from the react router dom okay so why this is taking now space oh margin bottom no need for margin bottom yes this is fine okay so add product let's make it left default not right okay so add product and he can admin can also go to add product and he can add the product currently we didn't create that but let's create this so what i will do i will copy the profile section of the customer if you remember and we will create that okay so let's say add product so add product dot js all right and then we will uh, go to source components customer and here we have a profile so i'll copy this and paste it here and uh, i will say add product right and then we have here add product and this is not a this is seller this should be seller sidebar okay so seller sidebar and uh, this should be add product add product right and this will be the form let's add this in our routers uh, app js so this is for seller add product pro product and this is add product let's fetch it copy paste and this will be add product add product so everything is fine where it is front end source yeah this is fine and now we have given the link in the sidebar yes we have given all right so add product here we have a add product section now now let's uh, the first one will be the title okay the second one will be the price okay and the third one will be the description right so let's uh, mark this and this will be number okay and description description will be text area okay so text text area right so here we are okay and uh, title price uh, what we have in the back end let's see let's have a look for the back end main uh, models product so we have a category a vendor vendor is uh, already the seller the title detail and price okay so we have add product so let's add one more thing here the category okay so category will be the selection okay no need for other things so no need we need images actually okay so we will say product images not image product images okay so product image this is paste here and description we have already and let's add here the selection okay and uh, select let's add here the class form control option option will be python okay and let's add php let's add javascript right php okay so now we have this categories title price description and images okay let's add one more thing rows 8 
yeah this is fine okay so this is add product section and this is products right so when we click on this add product it will also go to add product right so we have created the uh, we have created a add product layout and the product list layout in the seller section edit product will be the same just the data will be already filled this will be the same as the add product but the data will be already filled right and uh, now we will create the order section okay so in the next part we will create the order section okay so thank you so much for watching the video so please subscribe this channel if you are new to this channel and uh, if you are uh, enjoying this then please join the membership so that i can give you the code and uh, uh, yes uh, this is uh, and one more thing uh, for your practice i am i have uploaded so many product uh, so many django projects on the projectsplaza.com so you can download okay so you can do your practice and this is also uh, support for me because this is these are the paid projects not very uh, you know high price uh, these are the small prices learning management system is bit high but uh, this is a very you know fully functional project okay so i have created all videos okay you can check that you can check the playlist okay so i will create uh, in the next video we will work on the orders maybe the customer also and uh, soon we will start the connecting api with our data uh, react with api data right so thank you so much for watching the video please stay tuned with the code artisan lab and please subscribe this channel support me and uh, thank you so much let's meet in the next video thank you